friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. Pip pip cheerio. We're back. Hey. We're finally back from across the pond and from South Carolina. We sure are. You were like, what were you doing there? Did you have a work thing? I sure did. At the school. Yeah, I did a a fun little dating game at the University of South Carolina. Go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks. Am I right, fellas? I feel like I have to say in like a Wisconsin accent. Mm -hmm. Gamecocks. Like that. (laughs) Oh, my mascot's Gamecocks. Yeah. It's the Gamecocks. Um, Anyways, that's what I was doing there. Uh, They invited me to come be silly and goofy. And then I did a little Q&A and I met a lot of the people who organized those events um, over there at the school. And it was a blast. It was very fun. Everyone was very sweet and very it cool. It was colder in South Carolina than it was in, in London, in England, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say, too, like the night of the Argyle premiere when I had to work, it was fucking freezing. Yeah. It was really fucking fun cold. Fun fact about our London trip. We vlogged it. And it's already on the Patreon. That's true. And if you're not part of the Patreon, you're missing out. Also, there's a lot of Adam in that vlog. There is. And we were watching the vlog right now and laughing as if we weren't in the vlog. So. And I do that all the time. If you're not your biggest fan, who will be? You know? <laughs> but it was really fun. Yeah. I loved England. I had so much fun. It was a blast. Everyone it was very there fun. Everyone was so nice. Yeah, everyone was very nice. Um, Except to Alex. I don't know what they, that's about uh, something about alex was really pissing british people <laughs> off <laughs> um but uh it was very fun it was very ni- everyone was very nice and it was a blast way nicer than paris so that's for fucking sure yeah i agree i saw a tiktok today i think i sent it to you where this this poor girl she was like ex- videotaping herself in paris and she said she saved up a lot of money to go because mm-hmm. it was her dream to go and she was crying in the video because she said everyone is so rude here and i did not think my experience was going to be like this. It was really sad. Yeah. And then a white girl stitched her and she was like, I lived in Paris for like six years and it was the best time of my life. And so I'm going to explain why maybe they were being rude to you. Was the original girl Asian? The original girl was person, not white. Person of color. Yeah. It's and a, then another girl stitched her. The, the white girl? Yeah. Okay. Stitched that like little like. A chain of events mm-hmm. and she was also asian and she was like you're white that's why <laughs> that's say, why they were nice to you i rewatched one of the greatest movies of all time that's based in paris ratatouille period i watched it last night it's so cute and it makes me cry every single time as if i've never seen it that's my guy right there and my dad was saying is that how it is in paris and i told him like it does feel romantic while you're there like just there's something about like the vibe out there and Maybe it's the old buildings. Yeah, I, I told them because it's and so the cobblestone. Now that we've been to two different European countries that I never in a million years ever thought we would ever get to travel to. Yeah, um, it's there's a huge difference. Number one in England, I felt safer, but only because I speak English, so I know what everyone's saying and I can read all the signs. <laughs> that was one of my biggest fears when we went to France because none of us can speak French. Yeah, but thankfully, Alex French, lol, she has been there a billion times. So she well, she's able- been there and she speaks a little bit of French. Yeah, more than we any of us fucking. I don't do. speak any French. Yeah, but um, I was telling him it's really pretty, and I told him that people are really mean. <laughs> yeah, and in London is literally New York City with British people. Yeah. Like that's how it feels. Yeah. It feels exactly the same, except. Um, there's not human shit in the street, so that's a little different. It does. And it, I do yeah. love New York though, but it's New York is also like New York is fucking awesome, but people are really rude there too, and mm-hmm. I think that's just like the fast-paced city. Um, but in London, it's like New York, but if everybody was nice, <laughs> everyone in England was so it was nice. so fucking nice. I don't know if it's just built in them to be polite. Yeah. but we only stayed in London. We didn't really. Ex- yeah, we, we didn't go anywhere else in the UK, but, but we I, want to. Yeah, for sure. It was really cute. We had so much fun. Even everyone on the tube was nice. Like yeah. I was honestly. Here's what I will say though. Before I get into the food, because I know we're gonna talk about that. Um, about what food? British food. <laughs> um before i open season on them again (laughs) before that the night of the premiere like after the event we went to go to dinner and we went and ate at this really good italian restaurant it was so good 
and then we left and we were kind of just walking around because again we're like jet lagged so it's 11 p.m there but it's like two in the afternoon here in california so we were like wide awake so we were kind of wandering um just kind of exploring a little bit and like maybe looking for dessert and we walked by quite a few men and the energy is sinister i was like openly objectified by three different men because i was walking with dason in the back and the first one was so bad that billy was like okay i gotta walk next to you because we're all kind of walking in a group we're just kind of walking all next to each other talking and laughing whatever mind you we're all bundled up because it's fucking cold so we're like shapeless and like you know what i mean like this it's not like i was like I wasn't walking around with my tits out yeah like my tits were out at the premiere don't be don't get me wrong um but they were back in the holster when i went to dinner because i changed into comfy clothes and then just wore a big coat and the men were like there was a really weird energy we stayed in leicester square so we we mostly were walking around there yeah like shaftesbury avenue we were kind of like around there uh, but it was again it's late so like almost everyone's in bed yeah it's just there was like a couple of like nightclubs slash bars like we pubs were, were open around yeah so i don't know if that's because and they were coming from those places yeah, so and they had been drinking yeah and it was just like a scary energy mm-hmm. like there was something about it where i was like there is something mm-hmm. off it was giving dr jekyll and mr hyde and that <laughs> took place in london I was thinking of like the the Ripper. What did they call him? Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Was thinking of that. Literally, when I was looking at all those old ass buildings, I'm like, that would, I would be so scared if I was looking, living in these old ass buildings and there was someone running amok. And there people. and there are so many alleyways yeah. like everywhere, and they're fucking dark. Mm-hmm. Like the further down, and I was like, there's something ominous in the air. It's like everyone nice went to bed, and it's like the freaks come out at night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it. That's it how it feels like in that. any city, but. New York City is different because, like, the city that never sleeps. So, like, n- nobody's asleep mm-hmm. ever, really. Even at, like, fucking four in the morning, like, there's a fuck ton of people awake. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, no, but I've never so experienced not the I- same. I've never experienced something like that. Yeah, it, it, was it very gave kind different. of the same energy. Like, I'd imagine if I stayed up too late in Las Vegas one night. Yeah, and I'm like, Ve- the strip, Vegas is a perfect And there's example. creepy men, like, storming the boardwalk over there. <laughs> <That's, laughs> yeah, yeah. Vegas, Vegas like. is a good example of, like, women out. And the energy is very nightlife. Everyone's fucked up and there's a weird mist. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like past a certain hour. Only weirdos. Out. Yeah. Only weirdos. But out. we only experienced that one night. Just that one night because yeah. that was the only night really we, we went out in like a nightlife area. Yeah. But the other nights when we were out that late, we were kind of like in regular areas. Mm-hmm. Like people, were, there was really nobody out. So it was just kind of quiet. But that energy was weird. I didn't like that. Yeah, I haven't experienced that. We in, only in felt when we only felt that when we walked around where there were a bunch of pubs and stuff, mm-hmm. and like lots of people are like leaving bars, like last call kind of thing. And I was like, hmm, scary. Mm-hmm. But also, that's just my innate um, skepticism of all men anywhere ever. So that's one. But we only experienced it that one night, so that was good. The second thing, um, the food. And when I say the food, I mean British food specifically. Not the best, guys. Not the best. I'm going to be honest with you. I I loved it. Dason loved the fact that they had vegan options for her, which is not hard when you eat like a medieval times but when you go person. to an old ass pub i don't expect them to have a vegan burger that has vegan mayonnaise vegan cheese i do when their regular food <laughs> tastes <laughs> like space food like i expect Maybe that all they the food would you're eating was vegan <laughs> That's what I was all, mm, when i was eating it i'm just if you're vegan or plant-based you know when you go to a restaurant they're like we have a bowl of fruit <laughs> and, and a, a salad the garden salad with no sauce yeah they're like a side salad and fries that's it but the fries are cooked in the same fryer as the chicken so you will have to consider unless that. you go to ohana at walt disney world they have a vegan menu entirely that is exactly the same unless you go there <laughs> or anywhere in la but yeah i was just like first of all why were the brits so mad at me i feel like everyone knows i love to kiki and be funny And also, everybody knows that I can't lie. So, like, if I said the shit was trash, the shit was trash. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. And I said in my story, too, I literally was joking about it. And I said, like, 
it's all right you guys have one direction everywhere else in the world has food that's okay that's okay yeah that's all right but the fish and chips that shit bangs that shit was good and they have those little bottles of vinegar and i was like ooh. It lighten it up really yummy i wish i could have some. that was really good with the little chips on the side uh that was good uh peas though get them the fuck out of my face like i don't know why you guys feel the need to put a a pea or a bean on every single dish <laughs> knock it off i literally wrote make every meal this minus the peas yeah and the fact that some people were literally like it's literally because you needed to have mushy peas what the fuck are you even talking about what are you talking about please 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 and i literally someone messaged me how they make mushy peas like theirs and they were like oh yeah you just gotta mush them oh, i would assume okay and they mix them with like cream and shit and they put like salt and pepper what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> that's our i was like, like don't mash me potatoes off. i don't know no but i'm saying like you know how yeah you, i'm assuming it's just peas and for what give me mashed potatoes i'd rather you put another starch on that plate than a fucking pea. Peas just don't taste good ever. I don't know why like you Like, when guys... you guys eat saimingi, do you dump out all the veggies before you put the water and cook in the microwave? Be that's honest. what I do. And for those of you who don't know, saimingi is the Samoan word for noodles. We're talking about cup of noodle. Like, maruchan. Yeah, the, yeah, the maruchan. Maruchan, like, chicken I Before flavored. I even put... I ate two for dinner last night. Before I even put water in them, I dump the the veggies out because they taste like Play-Doh and I don't want to eat and them. And even then, like, okay, you're like, you need something green on the plate. Then there are thousands of other vegetables but you can pick. Broccoli. Why? Yeah. Why the fuck you pick a pea? Put broccoli, put cream of spinach, put literally anything. Peas are so gross. I'm just like, and they and have then, like, there's no, no way, business like, being there. There's no dignified way to eat peas. You're just chasing them around with a fork. Well, also, I'm not a baby panda in the San Diego Zoo. I'm not fucking eating that shit. I'm throwing I'm, I'm shitting in my palm and I'm throwing it out the window. Don't give that to me. That's why I'm like when I was talking about it, like literally someone messaged me and said they're just mad because they eat like alley cats, <laughs> which is so <laughs> funny. And I so I had like and I'm like obviously using hyperbole because I'm dramatic and I like to entertain and be funny. But like I did get quite a few British people kind of pissed off at me to which I'm like, first of all, I like to joke around. So relax. But second of all, in addition to messaging me how incredibly wrong I was, which it's an opinion, so you can't be wrong. Uh, they were saying things like, you Americans are so used to fucking putting saturated sugars and fucking dyes and fucking blah, blah, blah. That's all I was like. I don't know why you're so fucking mad that I don't want to eat those fried muskrats that y'all call food. I don't know why you're fucking pissed off at me. I said I don't like it. That's the birthplace of colonization. So that's the very least I could say is that I don't like your cuisine. But I also said, I like the fish and chips. I gave you that one win. And then someone, oh, oh. And Billy wanted me to tell you he did enjoy a sausage roll. I know a lot of you were like, did you try, at least try a sausage roll. And he was like, this is literally stuffing inside. <laughs> and it was, it tasted like Thanksgiving stuffing. <laughs> Which that holiday is also your guys' fault. So why don't we talk about that? Um, anyways. I feel like uh, I had my own personal experience. And also, I just want to say, with the English breakfast, I tried that bitch four times. I tried four times. I had one on the plane, and I was like, this shit sucks, but, like, it's plain food, right? And then I had it again, and I was like, don't like that. And then I had it again, and then I had it one more time, and I was like, okay, I made up my mind. It sucks. I kept trying. If you want to hear more insight, you should watch the vlog after you subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah. So, anywho, that's my beef with British food. I did have a blast, though, there. What so chips did you fun. buy from there? Or crisps? Oh, I did get um spicy chili cheddar Pringles. Hey, hey, Pringles in the Europe? Y'all are eating it up. Y'all are They're absolutely crazy. knocking it out of the park with Pringles. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing over there. Keep it up. I know. I and maybe, maybe that's a sign that additives work, bitch. <laughs> How about that? I was like, oh, is there a bunch of natural mushy peas in those put, fucking Pringles that you GMOs guys are selling? from your Pringles onto your food. Yeah, fuck is in there. Are those all natural vegan fucking Pringles? Doubt it. No, I just want people to say, those aren't vegan. You guys, 
All right, friends, we're going to take one quick little break. And this is with our friends, again, at NYX Cosmetics. So we're super excited to be partnering with NYX Cosmetics because, as I've let you know all throughout January, how big of a fan both of us are of all of their products. They're super affordable. They're really great dupes for higher-end products. And, girl, you can buy, like, a million for the price of, like, one higher-end product. And I know I keep saying that, but I cannot emphasize enough to you how much we love this brand. And we're so excited and grateful to be um, partnering with them, especially to promote their Pro Fix Stick Concealers, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So, NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers are their super affordable at only $9. What the heck? You can get three shades for less than the price of a more expensive one. It's the best bang for your buck, period. NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers come in 24 pro shades to correct, conceal, and brighten. The color correcting is made easy with six color correctors for all skin tones and 18 complexion shades to conceal and brighten like a pro. Again, I keep talking about the concealer base only, that clean girl aesthetic or the makeup, no makeup type look. You can use these for that. And it's one product. What the heck? They all contain hyaluronic acid, so it's really skin loving and it works for all skin types, especially if you prep with a nice hydrating primer first. When it's on, it's on for 12 hours and a quick fix and a solid stick for anything you're trying to fix up really quick. No mess, no fuss, just results fast. I know that's right. Uh, the cool thing is you can build this up and it doesn't cake up on you and it looks like a natural flawless finish, which we absolutely love and adore. So all of you can get your NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers at your favorite makeup retailer and at NYXCosmetics.com. This podcast is presented by NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers. Now back to the episode. Chips don't count. <laughs> chips don't count. We need to have an exception for chips. I have to eat hot Cheetos. Case. I will not make it in I my life literally if I don't get am, to eat hot Cheetos. I just remembered that me and Billy brought home a bunch of British snacks and we haven't tried them yet. Ooh. Okay, we have a bunch of British snacks, so I'll try those too and I'll get back to you. But my gut tells me that snacks y'all have on lock. Yeah. Like a lot of the snacks, I was vibing. I was like, I that's the, fucking cool. I liked the coffee a lot too. Oh yeah, I fucked with the coffee. We oh, were... and I fucked with the fact that y'all had oat milk everywhere. Yes. Um, that was not the case in Europe or um, Paris. And you guys had stevia. Where did we go recently and they didn't have stevia? And I was like, no, I they did not have stevia. They gave me sugar <gasps> cubes. cubes. You're right. They didn't. That's another thing. Get the fucking aspartame. <laughs> go ahead and ship it over there. You need it. Please, 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 please. please. You need I know. it. When I was like, where's a oh, dude? Okay. When I don't like, I don't like the idea of me having to, me having to show other people that I need 32 sugar cubes in my coffee. Like I, I don't stop There's doing no that dignity in that. Like the first day we were there, Drew slept in because that was the day of the Argyle premiere. And then yeah. Peely went to the gym. So I went to breakfast with Steve, Alex, and Adam. Yeah. And I asked the guy because he brought us coffees. I go, oh, do you have oat milk? Because they had a buffet, but then also you could order food. Yeah. He goes, yeah, if you get up and walk over there, you'll see the oat milk. <laughs> you get your lazy ass and up. And then I was all, oh, okay. And then I got up and got that. And then I was too embarrassed. And then I asked Alex, where's the sugar? She goes, right here. And they were the little cubes, and I wanted, and I had to put like fourteen of them. In That's why I said coffee. one of my fucking Laura Angles. And then I told Alex, "Quit making me <laughs> drink my coffee like a pilgrim." <laughs> I told Alex, "I said, are the brown ones like oxidized ones, or like what's it's going brown on?" Sugar. I don't know. She said they're brown sugar. I'm like, "Don't laugh." Who the fuck? Who puts brown sugar in their coffee? A psychopath? No, you know what? This coffee's missing sand. <laughs> I needed it. You know what? I I wanted mm. the feeling of when you eat your sandwich at the beach. That's what I wanted in my coffee. <laughs> what are you doing? Give me a Too packeted much. sugar, bitch. It's too much. Oh, every time they're like, it does cause cancer. I'm like, first of all, that's sweet and low. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> second of all, everything causes Please, cancer. By I that have measure. to have stevia. You, you like Splenda more, huh? I don't give a fuck. Uh -huh. As long as it's not a sugar cube, because I am not a fucking racehorse, <laughs> then give me a packeted sugar. Please. That's why I say, I tell y'all this every single time I go to Europe. I'm always like, America, rah! Every time I go over there. Because I feel so like every time I do what anything, the? I will say though, I wish I got to try, um, a fucking, what do you call it? A high tea. Yeah. We wanted to do high tea. We wanted we to do high tea, but I was too, I was fucked up from the time change. The time change was kicking my ass. Bitch. I was telling Steve, I'm like, I don't know why I feel like I'm dying this time. Whereas like in Paris, like I was fine. I was just being like lazy. But even in Paris, I felt like I was dying in Paris too, but I, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like we got up a lot earlier, though, in England. I think we just, we never give ourselves enough days to get used to the time change so that we can enjoy where we're No, at. never. That would that would require my job to not send me to London four days before I have to be there. But yeah, we went to London. So. We went to South Carolina. And now we're home. And South Carolina, like, 
there ain't shit out there, girl. What the hell? And we were in Columbia, South Carolina. So like the airport was literally, you could park your car at the curb at the airport. <laughs> you know how like at LAX, they'll shoot you in the head if you, you know that video you saw. Yeah. Like, she's like, if this is the slow down area, but also if you do slow down, you will be going to prison. Um, you can open your door, but if you open your door, you will be going to prison. She's like, it'd be better if the cars could hover above each other of some way. Um, yeah. But also this is where buses are driving 90 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like the way that LAX is like go go go. I was like, oh, when they were revamping it, I'm like, oh, they're making this right. Here. No, it's for the buses to run me down while I'm while to I'm, drive while I'm jet lagged and dying and I'm, I'm sweaty and carrying. And both I'm like, my I'm trying to like roll my suitcases over the fucking curbs, and then they're like <laughs> driving ninety down that fucking road. Why am I dragging my suitcases over speed bumps? What's happening, dude? Over and here? in South Carolina, they were like, yeah, just park right here. That's cool. You can leave your car there as long as you want. And everybody was very nice in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. When I was, when we were leaving, uh, Billy and I were buying like water and some snacks and the woman at the counter was so nice. And she was like an older woman and she was like, uh, are you guys from around here? Which I feel like she knew the answer to. And then we were like, no, we're from California. She's like, oh, okay. Is this your first time here? We're like, yeah. She's like, oh, how'd you like it? I was like, everyone here is so nice. Because everybody was very nice to us when we were there. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you know what? That makes me so happy that you say that. And we're like, really? She goes, oh, yeah. Because, you know, because of politics and stuff, nobody wants to come here. And I was like, <laughs> that felt a little like. Like, on our last day there, I looked mm -hmm. up, is this a red or a blue state? And it said red immediately. It's extremely red. I just wanted to check. <laughs> because but the event like, you, you know. did, they had a lesbian on the board, and I would never would have imagined a state like that would allow such a thing. That's why I fuck with the school. <laughs> Period. Um, but yeah, she said that. She's like, yeah, because everybody here, I just want people to know it is so much more than that. And I was like, Okay. It kind of felt like a ally. Mm -hmm. Like she was like, I'm with you guys, even though she has no idea what race Damn right, I are. support it. Yeah. I may not be the same. <laughs> like, that's how it felt. Like she was telling us, like, <laughs> I support you guys. And we're like, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So anyways, fun times. <laughs> we had some fun times. Also... We forgot to address this. Um, I know y'all are going to be like, where the fuck is the guest? Our guest had a couple emergencies. We're working on it. We're working on rescheduling them. Um, but in the meantime, you get us. Don't worry, though. The guest will be here eventually. Okay. At one point or another. Yes. What was I going to say? Uh, oh, tell the people that you started a new show. Tell oh, them the good yeah. news. Yeah, y'all would be so proud of me. I watched three episodes of The Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Do you also think he's really sexy? No, and you know that. What? He Can also I looks so short in the show, which I think he just looks short. I think it's because he is short. Mm. Um, honestly, the whole time I was watching, I was like, I can't believe this is the guy dating Rosalia. I can't believe that <laughs> shit, man. He, I'm all power to him. <laughs> I bet he's a cool fucking guy. Probably w like Barry. Riz. <laughs> yeah, W Riz. Riz off the charts. <laughs> the Rizzler. The Rizzler. King. The Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> um and I told Dason, I was like, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed watching it just because it's so like the first few episodes are a lot, yeah. Well, and it's just like there's so many thread lines to follow already that I'm like <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's really good. It's very good so far. I just feel very like, uh, 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 uh. that's how I feel watching it. Um, and I was still like, I still like am piecing together the storyline. No, I know. feel like I've got it for the most part. Like mommy and daddy were telling me that they just started the Sopranos. Cause I took mommy to the uh, yeah. event that I got invited to. And my dad was saying, we had to take a break. And I was like, I know, because the beginning is so hard to get through because you're trying to figure out who all the characters are and yeah. why you should care about them and how they know each other and stuff like yeah. that. So. And I do want to say something. I watched Elemental for the first time. Why did no one tell me about that movie? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Literally nobody, to nobody fucking told me that it was going to make me have a nervous breakdown. 
you know what i'm thinking about recently to rewatch is soul so I'm, I'm, i am i'm not looking, kidding. i'm looking to have a nervous break i i'm not even kidding i just told billy i saw something about soul because i know like um I, oh they're re-releasing it mm-hmm. um because i forgot in theaters yeah i forgot quest love like mm-hmm. had a huge hand in soul and so um they're re-releasing it and i saw something about it and so i was like damn i kind of want to watch that again and then i'm gonna have a really good cry and then i'll be okay mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's how i was feeling and then i watched i told billy i was like oh let's watch elemental because like we i was gonna watch it on the plane but i ended up like falling asleep so i was like eh i am so glad i didn't watch that on the plane I literally would have been like, oh, like in my fucking seat. Like when I watched Raya the Last Dragon yeah, on the plane. that would make me cry a lot too. watched that on the plane and that was a mistake. I literally soaked my mask so bad that it was fraying so bad and it was tickling me and it was sensory nightmare. You had to get a new one. It was horrible. And I had no backups. So I had to suffer through it. You just wear it upside down. And I was in a middle seat. So really bad. Bad vibes all around. <laughs> But uh, yeah, was it that was... when you and mommy got on the plane and you were like, "What is that smell?" And it was the bag. That was when we went home. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it was that trip. Um, but dude, that fucking movie, bro, I was blown away. I literally told Billy, I was like, "This is not for kids." There are so many adult themes. Like, like kids are gonna love it because it's so cool and beautiful. It's also so beautiful to watch, dude. When they're like touching for the first time under the br- <laughs> I was fucking <laughs> watching them like cuz she was like so happy and I was like <laughs> when she's making art for that guy's mom and she's like now I have an original I'm all oh I'm crying dude when the dad is like <laughs> when she's and like seen with the dad maybe and when she was lot. saying like don't like you just don't get it like mm-hmm. you don't get it like it doesn't matter what i want i was like oh <laughs> i was literally like this is so many minority families bro like sacrificing for the greater good of your family because you love your family that much mm-hmm. dude it was really cute can't handle it can't take I finished it sorry echo yesterday i also cried a lot during the last two episodes it was really good yeah what Highly else recommend that's and all then, I watched, but you guys would be so proud of me because I watched new shows. And me and my me. parents started uh, True Detective Night Country. Oh, yeah. It is so scary, but I love it. <laughs> but it is really scary. Yeah, I got PR from them. It's fucking awesome. We've been watching it, and I make Donnie watch it with us. Mm-hmm. And then, um, like, in the most recent episode, my mom was like, ah! And then he got mad at her because he was laying next to her, and it scared him. Yeah, yeah. And then he moved. She's all, and it wasn't even that loud. Usually, my mom yells a lot louder when something scary happens. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then when the episode was done, he was still watching the TV. And then she scared him, um, and that was really of funny. Of course she did. <laughs> of course she did. I would expect, and that was really funny, and I loved it. I would expect literally nothing else from her. Okay, so for this couple weeks, we decided to ask you guys to send in your, I was calling them like polarizing or like your hot takes on something like food related. Like something silly. Pop culture. So I put in there how, uh, you know, Drew hates PB&J. Yeah. And then I put in there that I like chickpeas so much. And can you imagine if they serve them at Chipotle? <laughs> It'd be a game changer. I don't think about that very often, no. Well, that's why it's my hot take and not yours. Yeah. So we had you guys send in yours. They're really funny. And a lot of them are kind of a lot. So here we go. Yeah. This first one is from Simon. And they said, we need more bad movies that are a good time. I mean, period. <laughs> well, that's why when the, when Jacob Lordy shit in the kissing booth, I said, hey, never forget what you, where you came from, friend. To all the boys I've ever, I've loved before. The Summer I Turned Pretty. The Summer I Turned Pretty. Not a movie, but still. The Summer I Turned Pretty is a perfect example of something that is good, bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But more cheesy, good. But more cheese, good. Cheesy, but delicious. That's why I'm like, why am I blushing? I am a 30-year-old <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> I'm a 30-year-old lesbian and I'm blushing. They're playing delicate. <laughs> As Jeremiah and Belly jump in the pool and I'm blushing. And I'm blushing and kicking my feet. No, the part where Jeremiah catches Yeah, Nelly. and everyone was like, cringe. No, it wasn't. Dazen, I was eating it up. Dazen literally <laughs> said she paused it and she was like, oh. Literally. Oh. I'm a 30-year-old lesbian and I rewound it <laughs> twice. <laughs> so I watched it three times. Oh, 
And I would do it again. You're telling me you don't want to see that shit? You're yes, crazy. you do. Yes, you do. You're crazy. That's why everyone makes fun of me when I talk about how hot I think Noah Centineo is. Did you not watch All the Boys I Love Before? I don't care. He will always be Peter Kavinsky to me. Yeah, that's a you thing. Oh, that's a you thing. But okay, um, that's, but that's their, not exclusive to that's him. That's their I don't feel first that way. one, and then their second one is Amanda Bynes does not have one bad movie. That's honestly on period, bitch. That's true. What's your favorite Amanda Bynes movie? She's the man. Yeah, easily. And then I would throw What a Girl Wants in there. I love What a Girl Wants. I love Sydney White. Oh, <gasps> Sydney White mm-hmm. and Easy A. I feel like you can't talk about Amanda Bynes and not talk. Yeah, and Hairspray. Legend. What's your favorite song in Hairspray? We were just talking about this um I it's think- probably run and tell that but i without love is up yeah. there too drew, drew went through a really <laughs> yeah really intense hairspray uh i phase was i was trying to find that movie pirated <laughs> for months i was like, like her please, livelihood please, dependent please. on it. i actually please, got please, please 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 i actually got the dvd for christmas the year that it came out but i remember my my parents bought her the cd they sure fucking did, yeah. bitch. And that was in rotation with Greece when my dad was like, please, yeah, my, I just need a second. My dad was like, please stop singing out loud. <laughs> Without love. That was true. <laughs> well, not even Hairspray, because that was when I was younger. I, I was older when I watched Hairspray, but like mm-hmm. Greece was the one. I, I had like a really big Grease phase. Yeah. I just love musical theater. I can't sing for shit, but I wish I could. If I could, I'd be too powerful. Be too powerful. I agree. Yeah, I can't think of any other Amanda Bynes movies that I, I did. I say What a Girl Wants. That's another yeah. really good one. Yeah. You already said it. Yeah. Okay. This next one's from Aaron, and they said that Paddington the Bear is a little bitch and is the spawn of Satan. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Raise your hand Relax. if you've been personally victimized by Paddington the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Can I tell you all my new uh, my new bit really quick? I forgot about it. Oh, okay. Does um, it have to do with Paddington? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, to an extent um it's literally like if someone's getting fucked up like for example what you just (laughs) said about paddington i'd be like let him get up let him get up (laughs) that's my new bit speaking of paddington if you guys have ever played the board game blockbuster is that what it's called yep um you have to like act out one word and then i don't even remember the other ones yeah the blockbuster like board game it's like a movie game but my family and i are obsessed with it and you're playing like charades like with your team yeah and so for the quote it that's the other one it's like one word quote it and then act it out it was billy's turn and he goes i haven't seen this movie can we made a rule where like like make up a quote as long as it doesn't have the movie title in it or a character's name yeah and he goes we're like okay he goes hey there little bear and we're like (laughs) paddington Paddington. (laughs) it was like casablanca like in modern family (laughs) yeah it's literally yeah he's like casablanca and that's when i knew me to billy that's why on that same note of that game uh donnie got clockwork orange <laughs> which of course he's never seen that movie and he goes i don't know what this is and we were like uh just like it was the quote one yeah and so he goes hey what's the time look at that fruit that's what he said <laughs> and it is his team couldn't get it but i was on the other team and then i went donnie was that one clockwork orange and then he goes yes it was look at the time look at the time he said look at the time hey what's that fruit (laughs) (laughs) and i got it but i wasn't on his team so i wasn't gonna give that to them that's so funny (laughs) okay this next one do you have any hey there little bear (laughs) that's the only thing i have to add to paddington the bear i think he's really cute and i want to meet him one day (laughs) <laughs> they had a little statue at Les- in Leicester Square that I took a picture of, of I don't know if this is shocking to anyone but I've never seen Paddington Bear like the new movie Paddington no they're really cute I like I've them. never seen it but I mean everyone says the second one makes them cry so I kind of want to watch that too I'm inclined to believe you guys okay this next one's from Cecily she said watermelon tastes so bad and then she wrote water with sugar yum what that's what she's saying watermelon tastes like water with sugar oh okay i thought you were saying but water with sugar i'm like <laughs> what are you a fucking butterfly <laughs> shit are you a dying you're bee like, uh, i was like you're okay. you're a bee dying on the ground <laughs> what are you you're talking mock- about you're a hummingbird i have to nurse back <laughs> that's to why health. i said what are you a dying butterfly <laughs> i put you in sugar water glucose the fuck um <laughs> what was i gonna say <laughs> <laughs> um honestly i i mean i've i i would argue that watermelon is one of the least flavorful fruits like there's not a ton of flavor in a watermelon to be honest unless it's artificial watermelon then it 
that that does not taste like real watermelon Mm -hmm. so like i kind of get what you're saying it's it's a very watery fruit so it's like almost all water and barely any taste but it does taste like water it tastes like it doesn't taste like like candy you know no like watermelon flavored things does not taste like what real watermelon tastes like and i think that's fair i got it but like it's one of the least flavorful fruits like if you think of any other fruit they have a very distinct flavor i think cantaloupe needs to be discontinued and made extinct. i love cantaloupe it's too but much. i will no, say i feel like that about honeydew i'm sorry yeah honeydew but i will say cantaloupe and honeydew if they are not ripe and you don't eat it within the hour it's ass like it's fucking horrid and if they're not or if it's too ripe like it's not ripe enough yeah yet. it's like eating cubes of styrofoam <laughs> it just roots your teeth and it's cold and yucky. it's literally like you know when you have a package and it has those like styrofoam borders so it's like <laughs> stuck in there it tastes like what those borders look yeah, like yeah i feel that okay this next one's from aaron they said oh this is another aaron oh no this is the same one. Oh wow they had a lot of thoughts okay this one says alvin and the chipmunks along with the chipettes are underrated artists in our current society in the first ever Grammy Award ceremony, they won three Grammys and then have since won three more for a total of six. They also have 18 Grammy nominations, three Emmy nominations, and 16 gold and platinum albums. Why are you so invested <laughs> in the music discography of the Chipmunks? Wait, first of all, here's what I will say. They're cover artists. Oh. Cover artists shouldn't get Grammys, if I'm being honest. I see that. They're just covering songs. Well, not their Christmas song. That's an original yeah i know and i bet that one didn't win a grammy (laughs) (laughs) i'd be willing to bet if it did my b i'm not as big of a fan as you are of the chipmunks i feel that i don't love the chipmunks if i'm being real i feel like alan alan alvin Alvin. (laughs) who the fuck's alan who the hell is that (laughs) alvin i feel like he's an asshole i think he's ulavali and i don't like his attitude he is he's ulavali he is ulavali means bad or like naughty in someone i don't like that their dad's always yelling why is he always yelling and always at him alvin that's how he always yells at him Wait. and it clearly doesn't work because he keeps doing this shit speaking of the chipettes do you guys remember there was an alvin and the chipmunks movie it, it was a cartoon and it was really old and the chipettes joined them and they're going on these this like balloon adventure like hot air balloon where they have to go around and find like little stuffed animal versions and they sing of themselves. the girls of rock and roll yeah but they find little stuffed animal versions of themselves and they go to like the seven wonders of the world that is a cinematic classic now that movie deserves an oscar <laughs> any song they sing in that movie deserves a grammy, grammy. maybe that's, those are the ones that they want any other piece of media surrounding them nope okay this next one's from Devereaux. He said, canned tuna is British food level trash. (laughs) (laughs) It's not British food level. But did you know that those fucking bitches over there put tuna on a jacket potato? On fucking potatoes, dog. Like baked potatoes? That is not a joke. I want to try it. They'll do fucking baked potato, right? And they'll cut that bitch open. And then they'll pour tuna and baked beans that's for you with corn and some cheese on top and then they had the nerve to get mad at me (laughs) when i said that they eat like you still shit in the corner at parties (laughs) they literally eat like i literally said like i want the food to not i want my food to not look like something that matthew mcconaughey had to muscle through on the spaceship on in, in interstellar like knock it off they're going to look me in the eyes and tell me, like, you just have to try it. You have to try it. Dogs like to eat Actually, poop. Actually, I don't. Dogs like to eat poop. I don't need to try that. Nope. Yeah. My dog used to eat his own shit. <laughs> I don't need to try it to know I shouldn't be eating that. I'm okay. Yep. Okay, this next one is from Ryan. Also, I kind of fuck with tuna. My bad. I, I do like tuna. In I- the States, not on my potatoes or with corn. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tuna on, like, on wheat bread folded in half yeah 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 when i was a big togo's girl who remembers togo sandwiches <laughs> quiznos too or quiznos but togo's was my girl yeah. i used to always get a tuna sandwich from there and the shit banged it banged really hard i feel that one might be this next one's from ryan he said i like the feeling of q-tips in my ears i 
kind of do too. I mean, it, it gets an itch that I myself cannot feel. I mean, I feel like that's real. He also sent one. I think this is the same one that said, I like to sleep with my feet hanging off the bed. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to like Q-tips and ears, but it's another thing to like the feeling of your feet hanging off the edge of the bed. What are you, 11 uh, too? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, you like that feeling? Why? You like that shit? Okay, this next one's from Sarah. She said her food hot take, all breads and pastry items are better plain without icing or filling. For example, cake is better without frosting. Plain cake donuts without icing or filling. Plain croissants. That, wait, that one's good. Continue. Okay. I don't know about cake without frosting. No. No. You lost me there. Okay, plain croissants over chocolate croissants. For me, yeah. For Billy, he would kill you. Pan au chocolat. That's what it's called <laughs> in Europe. In Paris. Billy would literally, I think, bare hand kill someone for an almond croissant. <laughs> almond or chocolate, bitch. He'll, he'll bust it wide open. She put uh, bagels without cream cheese. Period. Plain and with she, butter. And she thinks the best part of the Pop-Tart is the crust. That's disgusting. I do love the crust of a Pop-Tart, but the best, you got to eat them together, girl. That's the That's best. That's right. I would eat them and I'd just pick all my crust off and keep it in the little foil bag. And then I'd give it to Drew and then Drew can finish them. I don't do that anymore, but I did do that when I was when a When we kid. were little, yeah. <laughs> I don't eat Pop-Tarts anymore. <laughs> I don't want them thinking that you're just carrying around loose crust for me to <laughs> snack on. No. What the heck? <laughs> okay, this next one's from Armida. She said, pizza must be washed down with ice cold milk. That one hurt my stomach. When I was a kid, I, I would drink milk with, like, spaghetti or pizza. Now that I'm an adult and I love myself, I don't do that anymore. You want a thick-ass, creamy drink after you eat pizza? Must be fucking nice. I can't do that. The way my stomach would literally be like, girl, if I ate that shit... I'd be moving into my bathroom. I would combust immediately. I'd be I'd be setting up shop on that toilet. <laughs> I'd That's bust a nut sure. and not in a good way. <laughs> I'd bust a butt nut. <laughs> <laughs> a butt lug nut. I'd bust a fat butt nut <laughs> in a bad way. Derogatory. Let's in 2024 start calling diarrhea. Butt nut. Yeah. <laughs> Busting a butt nut. Instead of chorro, it's, it's a busting butt a butt nut. <laughs> I had to bust a big, fat butt nut, bro. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I was busting a butt nut. I had to bust a huge butt nut, bro. Oh, my butt nut was busting. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are watery. Dude. I'm also laughing imagining me talking about being a 30-year-old lesbian <laughs> giggling over <laughs> this summer I turned pretty. <laughs> She busted a butt nut <laughs> after watching Jeremiah catch belly at the fucking 70s party. <laughs> My eyes are watering. I can't stop. Fat butt nut, bro. Ugh, a couple of them, too. Not just one. Oh, man. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. This one's kind of gross. Ready? Speaking of butt nuts. <laughs> this is from Kelsey. She said, one ply is the superior toilet paper because it doesn't give you crumbles. What are you talking about? Sometimes you guys piss me off. And I'm so serious. What the fuck? Are Sometimes you what? piss me off. I know what I, I know what it is, and you know what? You're fucking wrong. That guarantees you get crumbles, bitch. Are you out of your mind? Are you talking about? Like, you think a thinner toilet paper is gonna keep it from crumbling and you touching your poop? Wait, is it is it the toilet paper crumbling in your hand or crumbles in your ass? No, it's both. It's the toilet paper <laughs> disintegrating. And when here's an idea: get a, get a fucking tushy bidet. No crumbles. How about oh, you yeah. just? Buy better toilet paper. <laughs> Bitch, use a fucking <laughs> towel at like, that did point. Did you see gr I think it was... Oh, I can't remember who it was. Someone posted a TikTok. You know what? Get in the shower and rinse off like an inmate instead. <laughs> How about that? 
Kelsey, that made my eyes water. How many butt nuts are you doing in a day that you're crumbling teepee in your Well, ass? you're also wrong. When it's thinner, cheaper toilet paper, it breaks so much easier. I'm just thinking about how, like, because I use a lot of toilet paper. Because I, I don't want poop or piss on my hand Me too. ever. Me too. So I, I use too much toilet paper. I'll be honest, right? Yeah. But I'm imagining how much more I have to use. when I. It's like tissue papers you put in a, in a gift bag. Yeah. That's how thin it is. Well, also. If I can hold it up, you know, the paper times. <laughs> if I can hold it up and see through it. Yeah, dude. That doesn't seem good. Doing the window pane test on it like That's it's what I'm fucking bread. <laughs> like the gluten's forming. You're, you're like, like mm, yep. Mm, needs more proving. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> needs to be in the prover a little bit longer. That's no, insane. But also, what makes me think that you're getting crumbles after your butt nut is that <laughs> are you doing really watery poops? Like, are you just like shooting like a fire hose out of that ass? Like, because if it's really watery and it's just soaking wet, maybe that's why you get crumbles. I don't know. I just... I crumbles don't. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what she meant. Doesn't give you crumbles cookies in your ass. When you bust a butt nut so hard, you get crumbles cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about busting a butt nut is that I get crumbles after. <laughs> what the fuck are you... What the fuck are crumbles? Crumble cookies. <laughs> mm. You're making a bunch of crumble cookies in there, I bet. Huh? It's just bunch a bunch of mushy. mud pie <laughs> mojos. <laughs> chocolate devotions <laughs> cold stone fans let me hear you <laughs> stand up in the chat below yeah guys. chat go ahead and comment cold stone down below <laughs> cold stone creamery let me hear you <laughs> hey cold stone's fucking fire i know it is mud pie a mud pie mojo at cold stone that's, that's the what, best one that's what i'm fucking talking that's about the bitch. Best one. and donovan is the sicko so he loves a good chocolate, chocolate devotion, devotion yeah. i'm gonna eat that's why last night we were talking about head ass things and i was like always needs dessert head ass. yeah i was like mommy can i have something sweet head ass <laughs> chocolate devotion head ass that's what you making a couple mud pie mojos in there oh huh? my god that one made me laugh really when you're, hard when your butt nuts also a chocolate devotion <laughs> <laughs> okay when your chocolate devotion gives you a butt nut <laughs> When you bust a butt nut so hard, you have crumbles cookies. <laughs> Dude. Okay. This next one's from Lily. She said, I hate The weekend, the singer. <laughs> and okay. I want everyone to know he is good at singing, but his songs all sound like that Dance Monkey song. That's wrong. I don't... I mean, I don't like The weekend personally. I like some of his songs, but he's not... Like, I, I honestly don't get the hype either, but I can appreciate why other people like him. He's mm -hmm. just not my cup of tea, but that nothing unfurls a rage faster out of me than that dance monkey song there's another song i can't think of but that there's two yeah, of them yeah that but dance, dance monkey, monkey makes me songs mad. pretty bad i wouldn't say it's like the weekend but i get what you're going yeah. for i'm real like neutral towards the weekend personally yeah. i do like some of his songs and stuff but i feel like we don't talk enough about how he was extremely sexual when he first came out and then he kind of peeled that back a lot yeah you know like his first album was really good but it was extremely sexual i'm trying to remember on the new album i liked gasoline dreams i think is one and i liked less than was zero the new the new one Starboy. no he's just like an old man oh i can't think of it in my of course oh name. yeah my no i didn't i didn't longer. listen to that one i liked gasoline dreams and listen to less than zero if you just went through a breakup listen to less than zero and then you'll come back on top he has a song called is there someone and i really like that song does he have one with rosalia that we like and yeah la fama of. yeah that was my favorite song off yeah of we watched Mo that music Mota mommy Mota mommy Mota mommy i do like that album that whole album's really good but i really la fama was my favorite one i've been listening to that a lot recently <laughs> what was the one that everyone like do, 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 do. oh i didn't like that song but like okay gasoline somebody... gasoline's really good and then uh less than zero i told you those are two very good songs yeah i like he has a song called is there someone i like i really like that song um when i was in college i was a big fan of his uh added added verse onto orna <laughs> anyone remember wait and then i also liked uh his song with ariana grande anything she's in i also love dude that one she's all, the Met you once under an open moon. <laughs> yeah okay that song's really good i actually showed billy that song and he loves that song 
she just like in that where she came out i don't know if he was performing at the american yeah he has the video music awards yeah when she's in the purple outfit that she's like "Mm." yeah that one i true that's her peak look to me yeah she looks she always looks pretty to me and always looks beautiful but that right there was like so good she looks great yeah okay one that is repeated in here quite a bit is gray's anatomy okay so we'll just use this one because this is the the first one i just saw right now but this is from chris and she said i think it's absolutely ridiculous or absurd that after 19 committed repeated more than i can remember seasons of gray's anatomy i don't have an md I'm just saying I should at least be handing out prescriptions to your grandma for her arthritis. <laughs> but I've also seen a lot of people saying um, that that show is has been on for way too long. No, it absolutely has. That's one of those where it's like, how many more terrible things can you come up with to put those fucking doctors through? My family and I used to watch Grey's Anatomy uh, pretty frequently, I would say. I, I could not. I remember watching three separate season finales and one of them's that fucking plane crash which what the fuck was that yeah. like killed off half the main cast that was one spoilers yeah um the fucking the mass shooter that comes into the into the fucking hospital because his wife died under their care that one um the fucking bomb scare one like dude i just cannot imagine how many traumatic horrible things you could go through it's almost like vampire diaries it's like at what point do you move Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like at what point are you like hey fuck this town i'm out you know what i'm saying the first terrible tragedy that happens to me i'm moving immediately Mm -hmm. like i'm leaving immediately they're all doctors they all can afford it Mm -hmm. but for some reason they keep staying there and trauma bonding to each other i'm just like what the fuck sometimes when i see Grey's Anatomy clips on TikTok. I'll like watch them and I'm like, this show is crazy, bro. This show is cuckoo bananas. There's just so much going on. And it's stressful. Uh, and also, pick me, choose me. That's where that's from. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> okay, this is the last one we're going to do, guys, and then we'll do a part two. Okay, so this Ish. one is from Ava. She said, I think Stanley's the cups look ugly and are unnecessary like you don't need a water bottle that big you're wrong i don't get the hype and i think a perfectly good water bottle is one you can fit anywhere i mean the appeal though of the stanley is that you can fit it anywhere because the bottom part is skinnier than the top like yeah as fa- someone who's had many different water bottles yeah like i love my favorite water bottles is my awalas they don't fit in my cup holders in my car and i want to sw- i want to throw them while i'm on the highway because they're just <laughs> sloshing around in my seat yeah also i as someone with i can't have cold shit touch my teeth you like the straw i need a straw like i just if i want to chug my fucking water but i also want it to be cold i need a fucking straw so that's a big draw for me i think that the the stanley cups are equivalent to the show friends Mm mm-hmm do i really have a problem with it specifically or do i have a problem with the people who obsess over it I would advise you to to think about that because I had to sit with myself with some shit that's really popular and I'm kind of like, hey, fuck that thing. But I don't really know why. When I really sit and think about it, I'm like, I think I just don't like the people that obsess over it. I think that's what bothers me the most. But sometimes I just don't like the thing. Yeah, sometimes you just don't like it, yeah. which I think is fair. And honestly, I was like, hey, fuck that cup. I don't need that shit. And then after a while, like I was really late to the Stanley Cup shit. And after a while, I, this is it, quote verbatim what I told Jason man those little white girls are trying to they're influencing me to get that fucking cup and guess what i said i might fuck around and get that so white said, girl the, cup the white girls i'll say are always right about cups and drinks yeah well they go hand in hand really <laughs> and lip balms okay they're kind of on that a lip balm i'm like all right oh, you may have ate that one little thing you may have ate that one little thing but that fucking cup i was like nah, i don't need that shit and then when i kept seeing it everywhere i was like Mm. and then i started seeing them in person a lot and what sold me was the straw and the fact that it fits in everything Mm -hmm. in the cup holder i want to get a little straw cover because i don't like leaving the house with the straw exposed it does seem yucky to me i've made peace i actually found one more we're gonna do okay this one's from abigail and she said pie is trash and far far inferior to cake that's the most incorrect take i've ever heard in my life i don't even want to comment on that one go ahead and hold on 
take one of those and go you drop that you drop this you drop go that. ahead and hold on to that this the, the that one's yours and then when you turn around and walk away i'm gonna throw one at the back of your head pie actually told me to give this to you for life <laughs> If you're cool with that and cake said why would you bring me into this cake literally said yeah do what pie said so go ahead and take that that's crazy you're out of your mind cake is not better than pie that's wrong you're out of your fucking mind that's bro because you know like i like when pie is warm you can't eat cake warm it melts i mean you could if you wanted i just think like i can think of off the top of my head three cakes i fucking despise <laughs> like pies what? like what yellow cake <gasps> that's wrong chocolate cake yeah um a very specific vanilla cake but it's not every vanilla cake no what's the cake you do like funfetti i like funfetti cake i like strawberry cake oh i, I like carrot cake. cake i like vanilla cake i like coffee cake those are all good cakes lemon cake but pies can't think of one that i don't like yeah can't think of one could you think of one and eh, you're wrong you're wrong that one's good too <laughs> you're wrong actually i can't think of a pie i don't like a I... shepherd's pie because <laughs> it's English. a child a child no i don't like pumpkin pie i think that's gross i love pumpkin pie pumpkin pie was my gateway drug into all pies <laughs> because pumpkin pie i was like no this shit is banging like because i had never pie was like i was like fruit and dessert yuck when i was a kid mm -hmm. but then i had pumpkin pie and i was like damn i should have let them cook i should have let them cook Hold on. and then there is a place called the pie tin that I went to once in Ventura, California. And it still to this day sits with me. I went there literally like six years ago once. And they literally, it's called the pie tin. They only sell pies. They sell little fucking slices or a whole entire shit. And me and Billy got like three different slices so we could share them and try them. And then my mom and dad each got a slice of different ones. Bitch, every single one of them was banging every single one i had raspberry i had strawberry i had banana cream i had blueberry and i had pumpkin delicious every single one of them the pie tin if you're watching this pie tin chat comment down pie emojis and pie chat, tin, please work with us chat go ahead and spam pie tin for me <laughs> <laughs> on their socials go ahead and drop those go below. Ahead and tag us in their socials please <laughs> yeah. okay guys that's gonna do it for this week's episode of terror idiot girls Yeesh. if you enjoyed it you can listen to other episodes every you can stream podcasts and the video version is always on our youtube channel stick them up <laughs> also uh again please join our patreon it's so silly and funny and goofy yes and you can't go wrong and that's where we be vlogging girl a lot of you have asked me to vlog i don't have time or energy to i wish so i did i'm doing it so dason's taking over the vlogs but I, obviously i'm always in them, in them yeah because i'm it's too many girls but everyone else from the acu is in there too we have donnie my mom my dad adam peely billy um alex. alex steven maybe phil will one day make it to the vlog maybe phil oh well we're going on tour later i'm oh, going yeah. on, on book tour later so maybe phil maybe amy maybe their new baby maybe carrie maybe carrie maybe other people that are creators maybe they will also be on there i don't Who know knows? you'll don't have know. to you'll simply have to subscribe to the patreon to find out bye, bye bad. Bad. we love you i'm gonna see you next week bye bye